Um, well, uh, first of all, my parents, I think they went to an NHL, NHL game. I think it was the Kings and Ducks, I believe. And uh, um, after that, I think the, they just put us in hockey, and I started playing roller hockey when I was little. And uh, by the age of like 13, I was start. It was my first uh, transfer over f uh, to ice. I believe I was like three or four years old when uh, my parents put uh, roller hockey blades on me and kind of just started from there. I believe so, but um, I think a lot of players now that are coming from California are um, getting looked at a lot more, and um, it's uh, good to see. Hockey is definitely expanding in California. I mean, we didn't have um, high school hockey back when I played, but um, there's a lot of teams now, and um, I feel like a lot of kids are getting more into it, and uh, it's good to see. I played juniors in the BCHL, and um, AIC coach came to watch and uh, gave me the opportunity to play here. Um, I was supposed to come here last year. My grades weren't uh, good enough. I missed it by one credit. So I went to University of Las Vegas, did one year there. Um, They're really loyal to me. And um, they asked me if I still wanted to come play Division One hockey. And um, that's, that's how I got scouted. I think yes. I mean, now um, there's, I think there's tons now. Um, I am. I know we have two kids on our team. Uh, this past, the last game we just lost to Denver. There was about six guys there, so I think uh, California hockey is coming along. Uh, after college, uh, hopefully go pro somewhere for a bit and uh, see how that goes. And that's that's how far as probably get. <laughs> the advice I'd say would be just keep doing what you're doing. There's eyes down there now, so. I don't think it. I don't think you got to go anywhere to be noticed. I mean, if you're good enough, I think uh, people will find you.